Father's Day. Kathy got me this really nice box that says Happy Father's Day on it, wrapped in brown paper. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is. No, I gotta open it. Somehow, I opened up this side already. Doggies are excited about it. What could it be? Ooh. It's just the box. It's a box that says Norty V8. Maybe there's a... Um, there's a mountain in there. There's a mountain or there's an engine in there. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, looks like an engine for my feet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. hiking shoes. Wow. That's killer. I'll be able to go twice as far with that. Happy Father's Day to everybody. at the the top secret home of Tony and Lauren Dow today. Mm -hmm. You know them. Yeah. Yeah, nice, yeah. Nice they people. live in the woods over there. Yeah, right. Uh, and we are doing uh, we're doing a, a coloring book with you, buddy. Yeah, I know. It's it's cool. The drawings yeah. look great. We're scheduled for August 1st to release this. Very exciting. Have you ever had a coloring book? Well, when I was a kid, I had a bunch of them. I think on the first uh, on the first page there should be a series of different things you can add like, you know, wrinkles Mm -hmm. Hair out of the nose. Yeah, snot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything. Yeah. Baldness. Yeah. You know. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, the official bald Tony Dow coloring book. <laughs> right. But should we do a special rainbow and pony Tony you coloring book? You told me you wouldn't do We're that. We're not doing that. No, it's going to be cool. Okay.
You sure of that? Yeah, like like most of you people, uh, these have to be worn uh, when you go to certain places like the grocery store. But uh, today we're, we're doing something really fun. That's right, Tim. We're going to go someplace super fun. Super fun. We're going to the Peterson Museum because we're going to take a look at a unique vehicle. What is that vehicle, Paul? That would be uh, Elon Musk's Tesla Cybertruck. That's right, the Cybertruck. Uh, I heard it's uh, a lot bigger in person. But Paul has some interesting news, don't you, Paul? I do. I'm going to have to stop calling you Paul and start calling you something else. Well, I hope. I hope. Yeah. But, you know, that has nothing to do with gender identity, by the way. <laughs> so uh, I have filed the initial papers with the city of Malibu to start raising money for a campaign to become a city council person in the city of Malibu. City council. And thus, if you are, if you do become uh, uh, entrenched in the city council, that means that you'll be become what? Uh, it is custom in the city of Malibu that each city council person gets to spend nine and a half months as the mayor. Of as mayor. Malibu. So uh, it'll be Mayor Grisanti, which which uh, you'll have to wait for my turn should I get arrest elected. Yeah, not <laughs> arrested. <laughs> uh, so if you want to start sending your checks in now, which is fine, uh, we take PayPal too, don't we? No, we don't. No, no it PayPal. It has to be a check. Right. It has to. And there, there has to be uh, information about who you are, who you work for. It's part of the reporting process required by the Fair Political Practices uh, Group in California. Nice, nice. Well, you know, I've been watching West Wing a lot recently, and Paul, you fit right in there. Yeah. Gosh, where where do I fit in? I don't West know. Wing? I don't know. Yeah, one of those characters. Uh, Paul's going to do a lot of great stuff for Malibu. He loves Malibu in the same way that I do, and I think that uh, you're going to do... My mask keeps wanting to make its way uh, in a direction I don't want it to go. That right. gravity is very persistent. It's the size of my nose. I, I can't do anything about it. Anyway, so today, uh, uh, Paul, soon to become Mr. Mayor. We'll see how it goes, and we're going to go see the Cybertruck. That's what's going on.
much. That's oh, awesome. I mean the truck. The truck, yeah. yeah. No, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's got cur curves where you didn't really think curves were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Sign language is pretty, pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, it makes me want to bust out the barbecue, though. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's... <laughs> Tailgate, fiber truck. What do you think, man? What do you think? Um, I think <clears throat> it's really big. It's like, like I didn't realize how big it was, but actually seeing it, it's like big as a house almost. Yeah, it's it's, it's super but, long. It's yeah, super long. it's the the back is much longer than I expected, mm. and a lot of glass. I mean, the front end is just incredible, but the back. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. It's almost like an RV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we need to go for a spin soon. Yes. Yeah, I can't wait. It's gonna happen. Woo. Uh, what do you think of the cyber truck? Oh, I, I think it, uh, well, it looks pretty much like what I expected from seeing videos online. So no surprises? Uh, no, but I want to check out the details. So far, I've only seen it kind of in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You like it? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, I like anything that's different, and it's different appealing. It's not different repulsive. Which yeah. I... Well, if you like different, I have a, uh, I got a speeder bike that you might be interested in. Oh. All right. uh, cyber truck, uh, just for you, buddy. I have the keys. Do you want them? <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, what do you think? Great. A lot of fun to come down here. Paul, Cybertruck, what do you think? I think it has packaging problems. Why, why, do, you, why do you think that? I think that where the brake is results in uh, it has to be very tall to make room in the back seat. Mm -hmm. So I think there's an advantage to curves. <laughs> That's right. Well, that's true in many cases, but uh, what do you think Elon should do to fix this problem? I think he doesn't have to do a damn thing. This is Gypsy Rose, which is a very, very, uh, Rose right very there. famous uh, lowrider, amazing car. But uh, turns out Pep's got some inside uh, inside scoop on this car. Tell me a little bit of history on this thing. Well, the history on this car, um, well, for me, is uh, back in kindergarten, I would actually draw it. And uh, my teacher would get mad at me because I was always drawing this car. And it was a Gypsy Rose, a 64 Impala, because it was on the opening credits of Chico and the Men. And we always watched it. But the funny thing is, is I didn't realize the car was pink until about, yeah, like about 1980. Um, because that's when we first got a color TV. And I had no idea the car was pink. But this is actually my friend's car. He actually passed away not too long ago. And... But I you're, you're one of the instigators for this car being in the shape it's in right now. Oh, for sure. Um, Jesse had this car, and the car was in his garage um, for like a while. And I went to Jesse, and I said, let's actually do something to try to keep it, like keep it up, like to keep up the history, because it had a little rust and everything going. Mm -hmm. So I went to his home, and I had never seen the car in person before. And then when I saw the car, yeah. It just, I felt like a five-year-old kid again, you know, seeing the car. Yeah. And so you, you said I shot it over and over, right. got it in magazines, got it. You and know, you guys, you said you raised some funds to get it done. Yeah, like uh, we're like uh, doing things to raise money to actually keep keep up upkeep. Yeah. yeah. For the car, and that was uh, the original idea, but it went further than that. And he's like, this car has been in museums and you know featured all over the world from Japan, Europe. It just really took off very well. We're at the Peterson. This is where car, cars like this belong. Peterson, but there's something I have to show you that no one can, well, no one has. 